Good day, everybody. Um, I've got this watch code firebox here. Um, I did do a whole set of videos on how to actually set this thing up and get it get it running. Um, PF Sense embedded. However, I've had nothing but issues with the newer version um, of PF Sense. That's the all the fancy one. Um, I did get it to go with the old one. Uh, what it would do on the new version is it would it would boot up the first time, no problem. And then it would have all these read right here as to the CF card. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be bothered with that shit. So yeah. What I've what I've actually done is I've already got um PSense installed on this WD Black 500 gig. Um now how I did that was what I did was I burnt the uh PFSense memory stick image onto the CF card because the only way this thing will boot is via either a hard drive or a CF card. So what I did was yeah, burn that burn the memory stick image to the CF card, made sure the hard drive was plugged in, then I installed the um, CF image. Ah, uh, sorry, installed the memory stick image onto the hard drive, um, and boots perfectly. There's no speed issues as well. Um, it was horrifically slow trying to save any kind of changes uh, and the GUI for for the MCF card install it was just flipping slow as hell um, it would take five minutes to save a setting <laughs> and I'm not kidding so yeah just just had the hard drive plugged in um, I do have to go to the hardware store and figure out some way of, of mounting it I don't really want to do double stick tape on the PCB because um, just in case the glue becomes conductive um, yeah it's it's not really ideal but um, yeah once I decommission the old um, firewall I'll stick its other sticker RAM in here because it's only got one gig currently but um, yeah also just uh, I don't know whether you can see that the fair whack of ethernet ports on there so it's going to be fantastic if I need to do something quickly um, yeah this add-on card here is not actually used um, with PFSense it doesn't have a driver for it it's the uh, VPN accelerator card um, yeah so I could take that out if I wanted to but I think I'll just leave it in there um, I've managed to upgrade the CPU to a Core 2 Quad um, instead of the crusty old Pentium or Celeron C single core Celeron it comes with. Um, yes, yeah, so of course the back fans pump out a shitload of heat now, but meh. That's it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, pretty nice bit of hardware, but um, yeah, no, it should be good. Uh, thanks for watching and. Um, yeah, the previous video, or the, the video before this, should be the update on the servers and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Well, hello again. I've uh, mounted the hard drive with some uh, double stick tape to the uh, bits that aren't the circuit board. Uh, just using these, something like $3 or something from the hardware store. Um, yeah, seems to be in there pretty, pretty steady. Um, not a lot of movement there um, it's going to be racked anyway so there's not going to be a huge amount of movement um, yeah I'll eventually stick the um, another well yeah I'll eventually pull out the two um, two gig sticks out of the current firewall and jam them in there um, DDR2 800 as far as I'm aware yeah um, but yeah, so I'll get this all plugged in and I suppose I'll configure it up ready for the switch over. Um, and yeah, I'll put the set it up with the network switch as well. I'll LACP two um probably two of the these two network cards here together. Um and yeah, have a trunk between the switch. Um, number one there will be the WAN. And yeah, whatever else these two extra ports are for. Well, sorry, three. Three extra ports. Don't know what I'll use those for yet. That 10100 port there, I'll, um, I'll configure it up with a static IP just so I can... If shit goes wrong or something, I can just plug directly into that and 
talk to it hopefully but um, yeah no so I'm pretty pleased with yeah how well this worked last night I just thought I'd just try it and yeah surely enough it worked um, bloody well so yeah I'm quite pleased and yeah it seems to I'm getting my full internet connection through it um, that'll be largely due to the core 2 quad that's in there instead of the single core before I was, yeah, I was getting my speed sort of but mm, it wasn't great but um, yeah no, I'm very pleased so thanks for watching and um, feel free to check out any of my other videos cheers